Welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur with Heather Hope. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Heather Hope with the Inspired Entrepreneur podcast. Happy Sunday to you. Happy, happy Sunday. So let's see. I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, I know I am. I really was happy going into this weekend. Um, I love having just a couple of things to do. Like, and especially when I know that they're fairly easy, it's like, oh gosh, you know, when you get through something that's, you know, a lot more involved and then you're like, oh, everything else is easy. That's how I've been feeling this weekend. Really just happy to get some other things done. Okay. So if you're new here, welcome. If you are not new here, thank you for coming in and listening to me every day. I do post this every morning on YouTube. So check out YouTube. You can interact with me. You can, you know, ask questions or leave a comment or whatever. (laughs) So I appreciate that. Okay, guys. So we're talking about, well, like I said, if you're new here, I talk about the law of attraction primarily with um, business owners and for money, but also for just life in general, like how you manifest one thing is how you manifest everything. So you don't have to be a business owner to be here at all because we talk about everything at some point. So there we go. Okay, let's get started. I don't want to take up too much time today. Um just because I spoke like 15 minutes yesterday about um, passing my real estate exam, (laughs) but I think there's some really good gems in there of how to think because how you think is what you manifest basically. So it's really important um, to control those thoughts. Okay, April 11th, 4-11-21, correct? Um, If you didn't know, this is a daily podcast. Um, Yeah, so because the book is daily. You can pick it up on um, Amazon. The link is down below. April 11th, guys, stop asking where the money is. When you are consistently in alignment, you won't be asking. You'll be happy without it. Then everything comes in easily. That's how it works. It sounds so backwards, right? So it's, it, it's really about being unconditional. Unconditional about your happiness. Because so everything that we want is because we feel like we're going to be happier with it. It's conditional. So, but to, so, so the end result is happiness. The end result. So what we want, like say money, whatever it is, the end result is that we're going to, it's going to bring happiness to us. So we have to become a magnet to that happiness to bring it in, right? To bring in the happiness We have to become a magnet for it. So what does that mean? We have to become happy before we get it. And then we will get it. We will get it. But the key point is we'll get it easily. So you can get things. You can totally get things through tons of hard work. Tons of stress. Like you can get anything you want with like a million more hours of work and stress. (laughs) You can. Like you can get it. It's just a lot of work and a lot of stress. Like, <laughs> like sometimes I talk about the um, undercover billionaire show. Good Lord, those people are super stressful. There's only one that's not. Monique um, on that show, she, she's the ex-wife of uh, Timbaland. And, um, but the other two, Elaine and um, Grant Cardone, good freaking Lord. They are just stress balls. So don't be like them. Um, they're under a time crunch. That's why. But the 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 one, Monique, is also on a, a time crunch. But you can tell that she probably meditates daily. She is more spiritual, I believe, in her way of life. And things just seem to work out for her a lot more easily than the stress balls of Elaine and Grant Cardone. It's ridiculous. It's like night and day. So if you want to watch like how not to live, go watch that show. And it's almost over for the season, but go watch uh, Elaine, especially she's a massive stress ball, stressing everybody out. Um, and just making things, forcing things to happen. But it's, she comes across a ton of resistance. Like there's always an issue. 
So if you live a life that like there seems to always be an issue, you have too much resistance and you got to chill. You got to meditate. You got to like relax and allow things to come to you. Allow them to come to you. But the thing is with, with this show, it's it's only only because they have 90 days to create a million dollar business. So, I mean, if any of us had 90 days to create a million dollar business, it probably would be stressful because we've got this time restraint, which creates resistance. Having a deadline like that creates resistance. So, but you'd have to be really practiced at allowing you know, really knowing, allowing is the key to, po- I mean, to probably get that done. Like if you have like major expectation, like a lot of experience with things working out quickly for you and like you just truly believe that things work out um, easily, you know what I mean? Um, after a while, you can get to that point. But Anyway, go go watch the show. It's actually pretty good. I mean, they are stress balls though, so don't take on anything, and don't believe everything that they say. These uh, these two in particular, because they'll give you business lessons throughout the whole show, and it's like you and most of those you probably don't even want to listen to, <laughs> but pay attention to how time restraint stresses them out. Trying to make things happen stresses them out. Like they're gonna die probably soon because <laughs> that sounds terrible but but they're so stressed out it's ridiculous so my husband and I just sit and watch the show every week because it's like he's he gets it he understands he watches me manifest easily and he's just like it's insane the amount of things that just come to me and and start to come to him too because you know so he's witnessing it and he believes it wholeheartedly he believes all of this and he was a guy that didn't really get any of this in the in the beginning. He's just like, what? <laughs> He's just an average tip- guy that didn't know anything about the law of attraction and wasn't a spiritual type of, not really a spiritual type of person at all. So, and through me, he's like, oh yeah, I believe everything. Everything that Abraham says, I believe what you say <laughs> because he sees it. And when you see it, you believe it. But if you don't see it yet, you have to, you know, try to believe it. it and slowly it'll it'll come in. You'll you'll notice things. So anyway, let's get back to today's message. <clears throat> stop asking where the money is. You got to stop asking. It's a one. It's a step one. It's a step one. Um, it's a question. It's a step one moment. You got to stop getting into the step one, and you just have to get into step three of allowing. Step two is the universe answers. So you have to, you have to get past step one to start manifesting. So you got to stop asking because asking is like not trusting. Asking is not allowing. So you have to get into the allowing space. You just have to get yourself happy without it first. Like happy that you are here, happy with the things that you already have, happy with um, whatever, whatever it is that you have, you have to be happy with that first. Because if you're not happy with that, you're just going to create more unhappiness. It's a law of attraction. So allow things to come in. Daydream more. Imagine more. Like I heard a quote the other day from Abraham saying like, um, if your work is difficult, you're taking action too soon. So if your work is difficult, like your job, your work, your business, whatever, things that you're doing, the action that you're taking, if it's difficult, um, you're, you need to go back into the imagination space. You have to daydream it more. You have to, you know, go meditate, go visualize, go write your new story, do that stuff because that's lining it up. That's relaxing. That's lining it up. That's allowing that's creating more momentum for the action to take place. So I do have a 30 day um, manifest your success journal that does those three things. It keeps you um, focused on those three things, Um, meditating, visualizing, and then writing your new story. You do that every day. If you do that every day, you'll manifest like crazy. You will, so. Okay, guys, I think that's enough for today. 
I'm going to let you go. Have an amazing rest of your Sunday. Do something really fun. You know, let go of your thoughts. Just have fun. Play. Sit on the couch and watch TV. Whatever you want to do. Go out. Um, we're having really great weather right now. So here in Arizona. But <laughs> go go have fun today. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <music> Thank you.